Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd from Bishop's RV down here at Coachman today taking a look at some new Catalinas. And you may have seen a couple things like this that are kind of like pretend tiny homes, but they really suck for towing and going. What if somebody made something that had that cool deck feature on an RV that actually was made to maybe move around a little bit? That's what they're trying here and what they're calling their Epic Series. Now this is early prototype. So it has things like sliding glass patio doors uh, wrapping around the backside of this that will be replaced by some just gigantic windows, not sliding patio doors on the sides. You'll maintain that off the back. So keep in mind, we're looking at kind of an early proof of concept, but that's why they invited me down. They said, you know, uh, your, your viewers get lots and lots of feedback. Uh, is there any way you could record a couple of these and uh, tell us, you know, what we need to change? So they wanna hear from you. This is an interesting concept. I think the most similar thing to it might be like the Salem Wildwood FSX 30 VC view where uh, you know it's really focused on big windows but but this is like this camper franking campered six different franking campers together and frankly this camper is I don't even know I don't even know I'm not I don't even know if I like it or hate it it's so weird and different I don't even know what to think about it so I'm very curious to see what you think but the idea behind this is they've kind of rethought the entertainment center. So you either have maximum crazy stupid window coverage or a big giant projection screen straight across from a theater seat. But beyond that, it's got a little bit more of a traditional kitchen with a dinette slide and then a private bathroom and a private front bedroom. So you actually weirdly have very clear separation and definition of living room, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, instead of kind of all one mishmash sort of thing together. And again, I really, really am curious to know, do you think this thing has legs or did it just fall flat on its face? And you know, maybe you've heard of a tale of two cities. This is like a tale of four cities, or at least three. It's, it's a very interesting animal here. One thing I do want to mention with all this glass, you're thinking, how the heck are you ever going to keep that sucker cool? Well, you've got a single uh, GE Profile Central air conditioner standard, but you also have the availability, uh, well, I'm not actually sure if it's optional or standard, so we might want to verify that, because again, this is all sort of new. The Epic series plays by its own rules. Second air conditioner dedicated exclusively to the back end, like living room area of this thing, since that's going to be probably the hottest area of the RV with all the glass creating a lot of potential greenhouse effect. So they wanted to make sure you're getting maximum air back here. Now, um, this is just the prototype. That's the uh, the old style of air conditioner that they're no longer using. They just had one on hand to build the sucker. Uh, oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. Um, that, that'll again be changing to a, a quieter variety of air because you're obviously sitting right on it. But I tell you what, man, for sitting, like if you were backed up to a lake site or if you had some kind of thing with, like mountain views or overlook. Oh my God. Like, let me, just, I'm just going to park at the theater seat here real quick. And obviously we're just at the factory, so it's not the most impressive thing. But when you're just sitting here, the view is incredible. It's like having uh, an air conditioned uh, three seasons room <laughs> built right in. And you'll see in a minute here, actually, let me get up and kind of showcase that for you, that you can close this all off and privatize it. Uh, the theater seating, uh, I believe, will also be standard on this floor plan, but it won't be, like, bolted down to the floor. So if you want to change it out, potentially, you could. Now, this is the whole living room area. And if you're looking at this, you might be kind of wondering, well, uh, where's the TV? Where's the entertainment center? And again, remember, these will be windows. These won't be sliding glass patio doors on the sides. But you can jump into imagination land with me here, Alakazam, that window cover over there will be the roll down projection screen. And there have been people for so long that have been saying, when's the RV industry going to actually start getting into projection screen um, TVs? Well, they're doing it here. Now this thing, it's actually like a smart system projector. So like it can basically hook up to like your Netflix and stuff like that. Uh, as long as you have Wi-Fi to connect it to. Uh, you could, you know, you could hook your other devices up to it. There's other inputs that you could, uh, use that for. 
It is not an inexpensive device, and it is a bright sucker. It also has an autofocus feature, so if for some reason you want to take it down and move it around, take it outside, like some people do giant, you know, mega screen projections, it'll autofocus and figure out whatever it needs to do when it needs to do it. And obviously, if you're just sitting there cooking in the sun, you're going to want to pull these uh, heavy-duty curtains here, which I was glad they actually used uh, a, a nice thick material you know if I even single layer it you see how it uh, you know it doesn't have bleed through like you can't see my hand very well through it you can see a little silhouette but considering the backlighting that we have right now I think a little of that's to be expected this is also more of a love seat style theater seat so if you're looking for cuddle compliance baby she's got you um, they did a really cool thing over here with the dinette uh, let me let me kind of finish painting the picture of the rest of the RV just so that you get a full feel of the layout I I love these elevated bars, and I'm guessing this will probably include two chairs. They just threw one in again for quick proof of concept. I know I keep saying that, but that's that's what we're in. We're in an advanced footage kind of unit. But back to the dinette. You notice it's carpetless. It's a floor flush rack and pinion slide, which is great because it also includes all the potential storage under the dinette as well as that big mega pantry over there, like refrigerator-sized pantry. So they put it on a heavy-duty slide system that is capable of uh, accepting that. But... Um, they gave us easy access to the back dinette area, and you see it includes a couple little simple totes, but also they just left it open, which I like, especially in a U dinette where everyone's fighting for leg space. I like to lean forward and I curl my legs under me. That's very cool and very organic for me. I, I like that, um, personally, a great deal. Now, uh, cracking everything open, giving you a look around, you know, that, that cool thing about that dinette, that's like a seven-foot bonus sleeper. So, you know, you've got that extra space right there. I haven't checked it yet. I think with the um, slide close, we're probably still going to be able to enjoy front-to-back road mode, but I haven't exactly tested and verified it. Uh, the, uh, the kitchen overall is pretty straightforward because, again, this is just a kitchen, like, taken straight out of their bunkhouses. Uh, they, they really stole like five or six pieces of different floor plans and mashed them all together here. And I don't, maybe it's the heat. I'm having a heck of a time kind of wrapping my head around it. I do also want to mention we're in what is effectively a 2024 build. These will probably go into more 25 production. Um, the, uh, hold on. I'm getting flagged down outside here. Just a second. Sorry about that. I, I got here before the construction crew today so I could start recording before the heat hit. And I did my darndest to park out of the way. No, I parked exactly where they were working. I just have that absolute knack. It's kind of like marriage. 90% um, of marriage is literally just standing in front of the kitchen drawer that your wife needs, fellas. If you weren't aware, now you are, the more you know. But it's, it, you know, she's like, nope, I need that. Nope, can you move? Nope, nope. And I'm just like, well, uh, I'm, I'm just in the way, period. All right, where was I? What is that? Hold up. Is that like a Wi-Fi prep point? No. It's just a set of power outlets. Like, are you going to make that a phone charge pocket? What would you do with that? Is it? That's weird, right? What would, what would you do with that? I'm not even... Not even sure. Okay, well, hey. Anyway, moving on. One thing I haven't talked about is the uh, the clearance in this thing from floor to ceiling it's six foot nine which if you are a little bit taller than the average bear like myself you will appreciate because it means you can actually stand in the shower which is fantastic i'm a little over six foot tall the elbow room in this one is going to be questionable it's really going to depend on your personal size stature and how you like to stand in the shower so my recommendation is actually get in the thing uh, and, uh, you know, pretend you're, you're using it is the best way I can say it. Like when you're shopping, actually get in and try it on for size, like a pair of pants. And in case you lose your pants, you're probably going to be on the toilet over here. Um, the good news, this design, this is a classic walkthrough middle bathroom. This is like the most classic middle bathroom. It provides good toilet space. It also provides that awesome big bank of like, uh, linen storage, toiletry space, right behind there now this uh, a catalina is the more basic uh i call it the four inch fart fan variety here it's not the the big fan but those things could be applied they could be upgraded albeit after market um they are still running short camp queens on these but they intentionally build these with room to have uh, like if you want to swap out the camp queen mattress and put a true queen in my personal two cents if you're gonna do that then just 
do the true queen bed period uh, you know that's that's how i feel now i'm sure it's going to be like a couple bucks more but to me it's just not that big a deal uh, i'm not sure i also i like that they gave us a full viewing window in the door but with no privacy shade <laughs> kind of not my absolute favorite sort of thing um again though privacy shades very easy not hard to add oh i do like the fact also you just have a, a one switch to rule them all light switch for all of your ceiling lights and this is an interesting coachman thing that very few other brands do where they have uh traditional draw shades they actually put that little anchor over there so you can keep that uh that string at bay and both sides of bed have both household and usbl it's both type a and type c which is kind of nice um oh if i don't show it people assume it doesn't have it which i understand but you do have tv hookups in that uh corner and that's where the wi-fi prep is located that one set of outlets is still really kind of confusing me here um whatever anyway now i'm gonna open all the storage but one thing i want to point out like i got a door over here i can reach i got a door over there i can reach but in the middle it's just like no man's land and you have to like climb on the bed and reach your arm all the way around the corner like you're giving an elephant an enema which is not the most attractive mental imagery uh but that's that's how this one is you know i'm wondering if anyone has ever diy a better solution i got sweat dripping in my eye so in the meantime i'm gonna flip us over into uh storage mode here and i tell you what when you got drops of sweat uh with contact lenses dripping in your eyes that is a fun stinging pain that just does not go away easily oh yeah good news i didn't bring any eye drops so that's just gonna have to suck for a while um eh, whatever i guess it is what it is you know i still got one eye for now um <laughs> road mode sorry you don't care with the door opening that way, I'm wondering how this is going to work. Okay, well, um, maybe. You know, if you're my size, I'm a little thick in the midsection. I can still make this work. By the way, this is a rack and pinion slide. So one of the benefits of that is that if you need to open it partially to slip through here, you can. But it is not intended to be sat in until it's fully extended now manufacturers account for storage space like this giant pantry they build in they don't account for a person that they didn't so to slip through that countertop to slip through here into the bathroom i'm doing a little bit of a sideways travel trailer two-step but like i just demonstrated i could make that work and again just to to showcase it when i get here yep i'm turning sideways and i'm slipping through but i can get through the thing another thought that i had was this big wide open space back here. Like if you've got the the, the theater seat, I'm, I'm sure you could probably get a high to bed if you want to, although it, it's not as wide as most high to beds. Verify that. I, I ran my mouth before I thought. Again, I do that a lot. But with this being the way it is, like if you just wanted to throw a giant air mattress or something back there, plus you got the dinette, I could see this being a camper where maybe sometimes you have some friends over for the weekend. But I do think for the most part, it is really designed to be... Um, a more niche focus specific use base kind of couples model you know portable park model something you spend a lot of time in but you still can move around does that make sense now once again we are getting very early advanced footage of this one right here hopefully i have at least early preliminary weights and measures made available to me from the factory that i can plaster on screen there for you if that wasn't the case once those things are available i will uh basically i'll post them in the video description and i'll probably like pin a comment to the top of the comment section so you could check those out um so i can only estimate but i'm gonna estimate just purely based on the length of this the structure that it's going to take to require uh, to, to build the whole thing the uh the slide i'm guessing you're probably in three quarter ton country right here if you're going to local flat land um, just briefly, like back and forth from your home to your semi-local seasonal site. Uh, maybe. You know, maybe a little bit. I could see it, but I, I don't know that I love that idea. Um, these steps on the back, they are, they're the stable steps, but they are a removable variety. One thing I'm going to tell you, it's like, it's really cool that they had the extra grab handles here, but it's, it's about 90 degrees today. Um, they're warm to the touch. They're not singeing my hand hot by any stretch of the imagination. But I could imagine in some of our southern states, though that all that black surface stuff becoming, uh, you know, hazardous to the touch. Now, I mentioned this right when the video began, but both sides of the RV currently, for proof of concept, 
have these sliding glass patio doors. That's not what they're going to have in production. Those will just be a whole giant bank of more traditional windows. Uh, the product designer just said, hey, engineer team, do something for me real, real fast that has a lot, a lot of glass on it so that we can uh, see if this concept makes any sense or not. And this is what they came up with. Um, down below here, you do have yourself a propane cooker hooker. Um, you also have a belly mounted spare since you don't really have a normal back end to do all that kind of stuff. And the underbelly is enclosed. You know, it also kind of makes me wonder, like I could see some people wanting to transport like e-bikes or something up here. And I don't, I, I think you could, because if you look between the planks, and these, by the way, are those like, um, those poly kind of board planks where it's like, it looks like wood, but it's not, it's plastic. You can see it's actually the chassis frame rail. So this, this has the full chassis under it. I think that could support the weight of anything you want to put on it. I'm just not sure you actually want to put weight back there because weight all the way dead on the backside of this thing is going to make it tow like crap. And because the backside of it is so empty and hollow, to balance the RV, the tires are almost dead in the middle. So if you start putting tons of weight on the back of that, you're gonna cantilever, basically seesaw the crap out of this thing. You're gonna get yourself killed trying to tow it. Uh, this is outfitted with their, ooh, we got some wind coming in. I, I do apologize for that. I uh, Hold on, let me activate my wind cancel mic. Sorry if the audio suddenly gets a little bit different. In like 30 seconds, you won't even notice the difference. But uh, anyway, there we go. So this is outfitted with their power package, which, at the time I'm recording this is a limited time availability package from Catalina that by the time these go into actual production is probably not going to be around. The power package is basically like auto leveling and a few other little odds and ends. Those things will still be available, but currently as part of this incentive package they have going on, they're throwing them on at no charge. So if you find one that has that little black and yellow sticker that says limited availability Catalina power package, you're getting uh, a couple thousand dollars worth of upgrades on this RV that basically Catalina is subsidizing uh, that you're enjoying that you don't have to pay for. So if you do happen to see any Catalina in stock with that sticker on it, keep that in mind. That's no joke right there. Uh, I, I do like that it's a full true pass-through with a big door on both sides. I, uh, I don't know that I love the 30 amp charge controller wiring, how how much of it sticks out there, but it's also probably fine. Like, I don't get why they didn't just turn the charge controller, but I, I also, I don't always understand everything either. My wife will confirm that. Um, the one door up here in the bedroom, I think is for fire code because the only other door for the RV is literally all the way in the back. I think they probably had to do something like that. I don't know. I would be very curious existing Catalina owners that have this like jet black awesome looking uh, aluminum nose sweep is that causing extra heat on your RV in the summertime like I've had a couple of these if you look in the background you can see they they stacked up a whole row of them for me and I've been running the air in them and the air has been keeping up okay I haven't been running the air in this one though um and it's got a lot of glass on it I got a feeling this sucker could be screaming hot in the direct sunshine. I'm not sure. Again, though, auto leveling package, optional or part of the power package. That all controls right here off the tongue, which is kind of interesting, actually. The underbelly is enclosed. This isn't like magically rated for, you know, Arctic camping or anything like that. One of the other things that I thought actually was a nice touch is how all of the hookups are just located right here all in one spot and it's not like a central fifth wheel docking center but hot cold outside utility shower all the, the all the sewer stuff in one spot that's super handy all right 99 and but i mean i commend them for trying something different you know if you're looking for something more stationary that's definitely the way to go there but if you if you love that deck concept but you also want to be a little more mobile that's where this one comes in now does it make sense to do something like this or would it make more sense to just have like a toy hauler ramp off the back of it i don't know i i don't know i'm really really curious to hear what you have to say um if we have some of these in stock which i'm not even sure they're going to be in production when this video goes out but if we have them in stock We'll have them on our website. I'll uh, leave a link for them in the video description. If not, our local teams can give you a rough idea what one of these things might be running um, because it, it might be a little bit before they, uh, they you know, run this through a couple more prototype phases. But, you know, if you're watching this four months after it publishes, we'll probably have them available. But again, what do you think about it?
I've, I've been staring at this thing for two hours right now. And whether, I, I, I don't know. I don't, it's not my kind of camping, but I don't know that I hate it. So I'm having a really hard time wrapping my head around it. Eh, anyway, until next time, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sit where it's a little cooler for a while. It's been hot today. So take care, stay safe, have fun. Happy camping, everyone.